So my wife has been visiting her sister in LA for a couple weeks now. And uh, I miss her so much. And I've been finding myself feeling so deeply appreciative of her. I'm normally really appreciative of her, but there's a way where she's been so present in my aloneness. So I tell you, man, there are so many different kinds of alone, <laughs> and not all of them are pleasant, for sure. In fact, I would say there's a way in which being alone one can really, something about the spaciousness of being alone that somehow probably makes room for the character, I would say probably of all experience really. You have these multiple horizons, these multiple apprehensions. And I think one of the things I've been so appreciative with my wife is that part of what's made this two weeks for me so awesome is the way in which she's been here. By that, there's, I guess, in I guess in some way, I know musicians talk about this. That really, music is all about conditioning the silence. That the music is actually shaping the silent note. And I think I'm appreciating the music of her and of our relationship and who she is to me and who she is for us. And in some way, in a very primary way, I can feel it as animating the way the solitude is present for me. For example, you know, if, say, we were in a fight or the relationship was not working or something like that, and, like, she went away and we were mad at each other or something like that. I imagine it'd be a very different alone. So I think in uh, in a lot of ways I'm um, present through her absence of how grateful I am to be able to be someone in which I so thoroughly enjoy spending time with myself is as much a function of her as it is of anything about me. So I guess in some way, like every moment is filled with these horizons of anticipation of all the different things that the sense of what could happen the talos of the moment 
what's likely to happen. All of the things that I probably don't actually need to even represent in my mind, but live in a kind of horizon that reveals itself as the sense of the moment, as the mood that attunes the very being of the moment. <laughs>